yes, I what 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 it is. You know, you are so beautiful. Oh, bless you, thank you. You know, and I, I can't get the image of you out of my head singing that. I, yeah, you know the part of this. I can't sing, Lord, I can't sing. You know that part where you know, see, <laughs> see, you know that, that that pitch. You know, I'm like, oh, you know, that's that's a 15 or 16 year old pitch, as I was saying before. You know, I mean, that's a, you do. I didn't realize you yeah, were that young yes, at that ma time. I mean, people think I'm ancient now. I'm like, no. I was only 15 when I got that record contract. And In I was 16 when I went into the studio. Wow. And I was like 18, 19 when I left to go and explore the world because I hadn't seen anything. Yeah, because we didn't know that. I, I, I kept wondering, why would she leave at the height of her oh, career? Money in the pocket, on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to go and see London. <laughs> That's what happened. I wanted to go and see London. That was basically, I was a young, you know, young woman. I wanted to go and explore. I hadn't explored. You hadn't been anywhere, No, really. I hadn't been anywhere. I was reading your blog recently, you know, about your childhood. Your mo Oh, your mother is gorgeous. I saw mm. pictures of your yeah, mother and yeah. all of that. I know you were talking, you know, the things that we never really think about for children who are mixed race, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for example. I mean, you raised some, some issues that made me sit back mm -hmm. and realize that it actually isn't Christmas and Easter and New Year mm -hmm. rolled together just because you are. No. It isn't, huh? Not, not coming from a Nigerian point of view, because I'm a Nigerian. Mm -hmm. And although it might not show on the outside, mm -hmm. I'm a complete Nigerian. But what happens is that people take you at face value, mm -hmm. completely at face value. So mm -hmm. once they see the color and everything, they concoct any number of adventurous stories to fit in with who you are. Right. So yeah, from that point of view, whereas um, I had a lot of very, very rainbow friends, you know, from England, mm -hmm. but they're black, but people just took them with the blackness and thought, okay, they're Nigerian. But for me, I always had to work harder at being a Nigerian. You had to prove yes. that you are Nigerian. But it's Nigerian. made me a better person, I think. Uh -huh. yeah, it's made me a better person. But you, I mean, it, it, it couldn't have been easy younger. You know, I mean, as an older person, you know, we, we do become. And we do mm. become what we were meant to be of most times, yeah. I'd, I'd like to believe. Yeah. You know, but when you are young, you do not know that. I mean, it's like conversing with your seven-year-old self, for example. I what knew, I knew, I knew, I knew. I knew. knew. What, yeah, <laughs> I knew. I knew I was a Nigerian girl. I, I went to school in Lagos. You know, I was raised in Lagos. I went on Mulawes and Downfalls. I did the whole thing. The whole, I knew who I was. I knew who I was. But I had to uh, communicate that to people two or three times harder than I would have had I been black. Right. Yeah. Why did you feel a need, though, to do that? You know, why um, wasn't it cooler to just, you know, to just well, take the other no, side? It's not no, it's not cooler. It's not cooler for your mother to send you to the market and for them to tell you that the, the pepper, the tatashi is 500 naira. And it's, you know, <laughs> okay. And no, it was, I had to well, fight for it. do that? I mean, you see people actually, I mean, I, I, it's happened to me before. I mean, somebody is speaking, it's, I was with a friend of mine, he's speaking, you know, this is great, you? And then the next minute, I, I, I'm thinking, I'm like, so are you? <laughs> yes, and I'm like, yes. No, but I, I I am myself. I've always spoken this. I'm, I am myself. So whichever, however I've spoken is always the way I've spoken. Right. So you go and ask for tomatoes, but it, you're forced to speak Yoruba because if you go in any other way, you're wasting your time. You'd be there mm -hmm. for 20 minutes pricing tomatoes. And I'm right. very, I'm Igbo. You know Igbos, we're kind of like the Jews of Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no. <laughs> yeah, so. so, I mean, on those fronts, you have to, when you're buying things, you know, everything here is, is, uh, is haggling. So on, mm -hmm. on that front, mm -hmm. when you're buying things. You know, you've got to you've got to go in there. Not right. just was, was, is this true for other aspects of life? And girls, you know what I mean. Mm. Okay, uh, you, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Tosin, Tosin. Okay, sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, ask her questions. Why so, do you dodgy, okay. Tosin? <laughs> Yeah, I I know I will actually talk. You know I can't keep back for. <laughs> you know because she said she was not talking. Okay, okay. I've been nasty to her. I Just because I said she's wearing a weapon of mass destruction on her, ring, on her finger. <laughs> it's a tough world out there. We all know and that. And considering her size, she needs all the weapons. <laughs> okay, so you were going to ask her. Yes, question. please. Get I was going to ask question. <laughs> yeah, I mean, did you get teased? No. Okay. You didn't as um, a child. Oh, come no. on. You must have called you all kinds of yeah. names. Oh, you bought Pepe. Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> we, all, we all go through battles in life. So oh, mine yes. is no more bigger deal than yours or mm. the battles that you've gone through. So really, you know, mm. we all go through battles and we all have battles. Mine is no more bigger than the battles that you've gone through or you've gone through. Mm -hmm. And then now yeah. that, now that how, how long did you spend in the UK after living at 18? I left Nigeria 18, 19. Uh, I just got back. <laughs> Not that I haven't been coming home. I've yeah. been coming home. I've been right. coming home. But I just got yeah. I've relocated. So why, I mean, why, why did you decide to come back now? 
Um, um, I've got children, and I need to Nigerianize them, okay. basically. You know, okay. I don't want them to get too carried away with. Yeah. It's very important that they know where they're from, and I'm yeah. very passionate that they know where they're from. And I've always brought them home every year to know where they're from. Why is that important? Because oftentimes people don't realize why that is important. I mean, uh -huh. the people here who haven't spent a lot of time outside of here think that the best thing that could happen to you is to remove, no sort of exercise no your Nigerian soul. Mm. as though it Nigerians possible. are some of the most talented, well wound well-rounded, well balanced people in the world. Mm -hmm. They can cope with anything. They can do anything. If you take your Mercedes to a mechanic that has only fixed motorbikes, he will tell you he can fix that car. And he believes in himself mm -hmm. he can fix that car. Mm -hmm. And he might just do it. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? And Nigerians have great self-belief. And I want my kids to have self-belief. Mm -hmm. right. Do you know what I mean? That self-belief that only being a Nigerian, I feel... Can, can give yes, that to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Can give that to you. Yeah, basically. Well, you know what I mean? All those years, I have here that all the stuff you've done, you've done a lot of work, you know, I mean, working with the God Channel, set designing, programming, yeah. working on Channel 4, yeah. you know what I mean? And so on and so forth. When you left Nigeria as this beautiful 18-year-old star. Still beautiful. <laughs> I know that. I'm, I'm, I know that. But you know what I mean? That 18th part when I did that. You know, but when you left, when you left Nigeria at that time, you know, I can imagine how, what you thought you were going to do. What did you find when you got there? Um, oh, God, it was brilliant, though. It was good. No, because, you know, you know, in Nigeria, I mean, those days, all you had was your novels. Mm. In fact, we didn't even have TV. It was just your novels. Mm -hmm. um, that was your entertainment. Mm -hmm. And the odd party that your father would threaten if you didn't get back by 7 o'clock. 